So the NAACP decided to sit down with organizers of the KKK and try to come to some type of um, agreement. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they met in um, Casper, Wyoming, excuse me, which is ironic, you know, keyword Casper, the white friendly ghost. <laughs> you know, they met over there um, at a hotel under tight security and basically just talked about uh, certain crimes that were going on within their community and uh, you know certain hate crimes and I think black men were getting attacked for um, dating white women and uh, you know all in all just summarizing the article and what happened you guys can check it out it'll be in the description box if you want to read the actual article but it was really no agreeance you know they basically just showed up talked about some things nothing really was solved but my thing is that why do black folks always try to befriend people that don't like them? You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. We just had that joke a couple of months ago. I think his name was Brian Thompson or something. The college kid that was hanging the white confederate flag in his dorm room. The NAACP, I believe back in January, it might have been the end of last year. Don't quote me on this, but they just had... A new white president or CEO of the NAACP, which I had a problem with because I don't feel like we've progressed um, enough in this country and enough with our history in order for us to bring a white man into an organization like the NAACP. So, you know, for years I've had issues with, you know, the NAACP and their um, efforts to better in the black community and just the overall decision making that they have but to sit down with known clan members you know people who hate your guts have probably gotten your own people killed if not them their ancestors or someone in their family that belongs to the KKK and for you to sit down and try to have a cup of tea and, and try to uh, get these people to like you and befriend you and all oh, this talk about this and it's, it's bullshit to me you know, how I was, I was brought up, you know, you respect those that respect you. When you walk into a room, you speak, person don't speak to you, F them. You know, I'm not speaking to you if you can't speak to me. I'm not going to respect you if you don't respect me. And that's how I am, you know. And, and I think that's the way a lot of black people should be in this country. You know, why is it that we always looking for friends and, and, and trying to have people like us? We need to start loving and liking ourselves and start doing things for ourselves, not looking for a uh, white appreciation or, or, or white friendship. We don't need that. We need to start doing things for ourselves and stop looking for other people to do stuff for us because nobody gives a damn at the end of the day. And I just thought, you know, this was just a crazy <laughs> article when I read it. And then um, I read that one of the clan members paid $30 to join the NAACP membership, which was completely stupid because I wouldn't have allowed them to even join the membership. Why would you allow a Klansman to join the NAACP? Then he throws on an extra $20 uh, besides the thirty dollars he paid for to join the membership, because you know what, nothing gets a coon smiling more than money, more than a dollar bill. So the clansman said, "I'm gonna get these little niggers. I'll add another twenty dollars now to get them smiling, to get a, get them to liking us." So you know, it's just <laughs> it's a lot of coons out here and people who just can't stand up for themselves and always have to have um, that validation from white people. And you know, I just think it's a problem. But you guys give me your feedback. Uh, what you feel about this, you guys can check out the article if you want to, but <laughs> these coons, man, it's getting wild out here.